Hi, this is Lauren from LSP Actions and in this short video I'm going to talk you through the new update um, post October 2021 to the Lightroom Classic Brush section. If you're using um, pre brushes in Lightroom, for example, the LSP Actions Lightroom presets and brushes, the brushes do the exact same thing. Uh, the thing you need to know is that the method of applying the brushes has changed just a little bit with some more options included, which is really, really cool. If you're using um, older versions of Lightroom or you haven't updated your Lightroom Classic to the new October 2021 um, and beyond update, then you can carry on watching the LSP Actions brush tutorials and using the same technique. The tutorials are still relevant, the brushes apply in the same way um, currently, but the method of applying them is just a little bit different. So I'm just going to show you how. This goes the same whether you're using the LSP newborn brushes, the LSP white brushes, the studio brushes, or the, um, the sentimental storyteller, cherished dreams brushes, and all the LSP Lightroom brushes. The methods of in installing the brushes um, is exactly the same, and the methods of using them is the same. So this is just a quick um, interject tutorial just to show you this new technique. So you'll see up here the icon for the brushes has changed a little bit before it was um, kind of a round ball like this with a line. Now you can click on the ball and you get this new menu pop up. You have add a new mask, select subject, select the sky, brush, linear gradient, radial gradient, uh, the color range, luminance range and depth range you don't really need um, for any images. These are all manual editing and um, there are some really brilliant tutorials out there of how to use these already. But we're just focusing on the LSP brushes for now. So what you need to do is select brush and you'll see here you have um, the effect custom this is exactly the same as it was in the older versions of Lightroom and you can click here and choose any of your LSP brushes. For example I've got the white brushes loaded up, underneath this the LSP baby brushes, um, the studio brushes are down here and the Cherished Dreams brushes are here. All the LSP brushes are currently loaded up, so it really doesn't matter which set you're using, this tutorial applies to all of them. This is just an overview of how to use the new brush mask. So on Effect Custom, you can choose your brush. So for example, for this image, I'm just gonna go on Reduce Yellows. The brush effects here, the brush settings used to be underneath and now they're on top. I recommend having the brush, um, it depends how hard you want to go and further add a softness around the edge. So keep that in the middle if in doubt. Flow, I always recommend having this um, turned down for the LSP brushes. And the density, I would recommend turning that one up. You can use your scroller on your mouse key or the square bracket keys on your keyboard um, to change the brush size up and down. So I've clicked on the LSP Studio brush for reduced yellows. So I'm just gonna brush this over the skin exactly as before and you'll see it working exactly um, as the brushes do. So there we go, we've used the reduced yellows brush. To take the mask off um, any areas of your image, you can hold down the Alt key on your keyboard. Um, and let me just take that flow down. I'm just gonna lightly take this off the chin and the neck there just to balance out. But it really does depend on which brush you're using. The main LSP tutorials will go through the brushes with you. Now this new feature, normally before, you'd just click add a new brush um, and you'd be able to just carry on. Now it's slightly more complicated, but it's actually brilliant because it gives you more options. So you'll see here we have a mask and we hover over that. It will show us where I've just painted on. You can click show overlay. And because I've used um, a reduced yellows, I'm just taking this off um, some areas here. The mask is still selected, but the actual brush effect has been taken off. Now to add a new brush, um, because if I was going to go here and add um, add a brush in here, it's going to change the reduced yellows to whatever I select. So what you want to do is come up here and create a new mask and choose brush. So now we can go ahead and choose a new brush. Let me just zoom in a little bit here. We can go ahead and choose a new brush on create new mask brush. And I'm going to choose, what should we choose? How about um, let's sharpen those eyes up with the LSP um, Eyes, Lash and Brow brush. I'm gonna turn the flow up a little bit. So you can see that brush is working just exactly as it normally would, but what we needed to do was choose a new mask first in order to apply that. 
and you can see here this is mask 2 so we can click on mask 1 which was the skin uh, where we reduce yellows and mask 2 which is those eyes and lips so that's basically what you do if I was to add a brush to this one it would use that same mask I've just selected so you don't really want to you know add anything more to that you just come up here create new mask brush and choose a new brush to go on so for example if I wanted to use the um, the hairbrush I can just go on like that so that's the basic way of using um, the LSP brushes or any brushes that you use in the new Lightroom interface um, using it a similar way to the old technique and let me show you a couple of new features while we're here which is really really cool so what you can do up here on create new mask is you can use select subject that's just working now now what this will do is select your entire subject so anything you add to this mask will affect the entire subject so for example if you just wanted to brighten that subject um, you can use a brush now on that to change um, just the subject without going on your background this at the stage of October 2021 this is still um, a brand new feature and with everything with Adobe they do work on that so if you're watching this um, into the future hello future people um, I'm sure this will be a little bit better and a little bit more refined but something cool you can do you can click on these little lines next to the mask and you can on the subject here and you can choose invert and you'll see now that's selected the background which is really really cool so we can choose add a brush and I'm down on the portrait section at the moment but really this applies to all brushes and how about darken and shade and now I can use that brush to kind of refine that mask a little bit more and that's added the darken and shade just to the background and you can go ahead and play with the sliders even more so for example because I've darkened it I can just bring that exposure down and paint a little more on so I'm just bringing in some of that darkness there we don't really want the halo around the subject and again you can hold down alt just take that feather down just to take this effect off some of the hair so that is a really cool thing you can do so even though this new feature of Lightroom may seem a little bit intimidating if you're used to doing it the old way the options you've got are actually really cool and you can go back instead of using brush pins you can go back and select these other masks for example that was the hair the eyes um, and the skin there and you can go back and edit these if you wanted to it's really really cool so you can go back to watching the LSP action tutorial video for the brushes that you um, that you want to use and the same effects apply to the brushes you just need to remember to create new mask and choose brush before choosing your LSP brush so enjoy the new update if you're using this don't be afraid of it it does look a little bit different but like everything with Adobe it just takes a tiny bit of getting used to um, but the new features far outweigh the benefits outweigh the uh, the cons of the learning curve so I'm Lauren from LSP Actions I hope this video tutorial helps do please visit the LSP Actions website or the LSP Actions Facebook group if you have any questions I'm more than happy to help